Hey guys, it's Avery from Video Blind, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on basically how to get started if you want to be a streamer. Now, obviously, this isn't going to guarantee you thousands of viewers at a time and tons and tons of donations and free case openings in CSGO, but um, it's definitely going to help you get started. So, there's two main programs that I'm going to recommend you get when you start streaming. The first one is going to be OBS Studio. This is the newer version of OBS. Um, there was an original OBS, but I do recommend you upgrade to OBS Studio and update your software if you already have this installed. If you don't have it installed yet, just go ahead into your web browser and just look up OBS. It's going to be the first link here. And just do get OBS Studio for Windows 7, 8, 10. Obviously, you can download the Mac OS X and Linux versions here, but I really don't recommend being on either of those platforms if you want to be a streamer. Once you get the software installed, just go ahead and open it up. It will need to do some initial updates and stuff like that, um, but once you get it opened up, you'll see here um, that it's working perfectly, and what you will actually see is you're going to see something uh, you're going to see something similar to this. So this is going to be the blank OBS template. Um, it's just going to have a scene and nothing else. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the settings for OBS and this is just going to get you started um, with all the all the best settings for streaming. So in general everything should just be left normal. Um, if In stream you choose what service you want to stream to. I recommend streaming to Twitch because YouTube still needs a bit of improvement um, but it is starting to get more uh, streamers on there every day. But I'm going to show this example here for uh, Twitch. Now, under the server, you want to choose the server that's closest to your location. If you're in US, there should be multiple servers for each part of the US other than Central, where you'll have to choose Texas. But basically, just choose the one that is closest to your location. Now, we're going to need to get the stream key. So to get the stream key, I'm going to show you what to do. If you don't already have a Twitch account, you need to go to Twitch and make an account. But I already have an account here and you'll see um, if I sign in, click on this and then click on my dashboard. Once I'm on my dashboard, this is going to be a live preview. You'll, you'll use this in the future for setting up a stream and just managing it and talking with your viewers. But you're going to click on the stream key tab here at the top. Now just press show key. It might have you pass a confirmation but I'm not going to show my key here because this key is important as it will basically allow anyone to stream on your channel and you want to be the only one with that key. Once you press show key, copy the key that's shown, go back to OBS and paste it in this box here. For the output tab, we're just going to go ahead and I'll give you some suggestions for the following settings. For video bitrate, this all depends on your internet connection. I do recommend that you have at least a 20 megabit connection for download and upload in order to stream because if you want to go any lower than that, then you're going to be broadcasting a fairly, fairly low resolution stream and it's not going to look good for the viewers. This is also going to help you because it'll make your online video games not have connection problems um, and you'll be able to smoothly play the video game and stream at the same time. For me, I chose 3000 because I have a 150 megabit connection and 3000 is really the highest that most people should ever want to go. 3000 is in kilobytes per second, so if that's converted to megabytes per second, that's 3 megabytes per second. For the encoder, just leave it on software for now. Um, because that is the x264 and that's built into Windows and it's going to be the easiest way for Twitch to decode it and send it out to your viewers. For audio bitrate, just leave it at what it's already set to. You don't want to go any lower than 128 unless your microphone is bad enough that most people wouldn't notice at all. Um, for these here, just leave these checked and change this preset to either very fast, super fast, or ultra fast. I have mine on super fast um, just because these are going to be less CPU intensive and it's going to allow you to play your games with higher FPS. Um, you will get slightly better quality with the slower settings but it's going to be more harsh on your CPU. Even me with an i7-6700K 
going down to medium or slow can really affect my games and lower my FPS. For the rest of the stuff here under recording, just change that to a video folder that you regularly use on your computer because if you ever want to record a stream, that's where these videos are going to be saved. For the recording format, I recommend MP4, but I do know that FLV is a bit faster. It's going to take up less space, but I would just go with MP4 because it's easier to use if you ever want to upload a stream or a section of your stream to your YouTube channel. For the audio tab, just leave everything at, um, just leave all of these at their default settings. For the video tab, this is basically going to be, uh, for this area here, just choose whatever your monitor resolution is because you want the highest resolution possible on your monitor so that it doesn't look any more pixelated to the viewers that are viewing your stream. For the output resolution, it all depends again on your processor because your processor is going to be doing most of the output and rendering all your videos live for your viewers. For me, I'm streaming 720p, which is this resolution here, um, which is being downscaled from full 1080p. So I do recommend 720p, if, especially for um, just pretty much any game, just for good quality for the viewers. You could go down to 480, but it really all depends on what sort of processor you have and what works for you. For hotkeys, these are actually really handy. I don't have any of them set up at the moment, but if you want to make streaming and starting streaming and stopping streaming and muting your mic and all sorts of stuff like that easier, you can set up hotkeys for them, which would just be any sort of key combination on your keyboard to activate without having to actually go to OBS and press the actual button in the software. Under advanced, leave all of this how it normally is. If there's anything that needs to be changed here and you don't know what it does, then don't change it. The one thing I do feel fine telling people it's totally fine to change is the process priority here at the top. Normal is going to be the default value, but you can change this to above normal or high if you have a good enough processor to run OBS at a high priority, which means you would have a faster OBS and faster stream output and stuff, but it might cause your game to lag. Just press OK now because we've checked all the settings, and now we're going to start setting up our scene, which is what the viewers are going to be seeing. So the first thing is we're going to take a scene here, and let's actually make a new scene. Let's make this scene for a game. Um, what game should I make it for? I will make this scene for Bejeweled 3. So I'm just going to call this Bejeweled because that's going to be the game that I'm playing when people are watching my stream. And so I want people to be able to view the proper format for Bejeweled. Now for that, we're going to add a new uh, game source or game capture here. Um, but I do recommend that you open up the game before you start the game capture. I'm going to mute this Bejeweled audio just so that it's not annoying. Um, so here's Bejeweled. It, it's loading up and now what we can do is we can right click in our sources for the scene. Now the sources are, in, are specific to the scene which you'll see in a moment. We're going to add a game capture. We're going to call this Bejeweled. I think I spelled that right. Okay. So Bejeweled's already in use. That's usually because Bejeweled is open. It's a program on the computer. So I'm just going to call it Bejeweled Game. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck this bo box here and we're going to choose the Bejeweled program. You'll now see it pop up and it's capturing it. Now if you don't want the mouse cursor captured like you can see it's being captured right now, you can do uncheck capture cursor, um, which some people like to do. And if you want to be nicer to your processor and not um, feed it as much information because this is only going to be going out at 30 frames per second, you can limit the capture frame rate to the um, frame rate of your stream. And finally, one helpful tip, if you, don't want to see, if you don't want people to see your transactions or your Steam chats and stuff when you're using the Steam overlay, you can uh, check this box right here, which will disable that overlay. It'll do the same thing for Discord or anything else that you have set up on your computer that is an overlay for the game. Just press OK now, and you'll see that we have Bejeweled 3 in our, um, in our scene. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this out, because I want this to be the, f 
the maximum possible size. You'll see it snaps right there. So there's Bejeweled 3. Um, and I'm just going to snap it to the right side because this is one way that people like to play 4x3 aspect ratio games. They will put the game on the right or left side and they're going to add their camera and maybe their chat to the other side of the screen. So now we're going to add a source and we're going to call it video capture device. This I'm just going to call webcam and you'll see here I am and I'm just going to leave this totally fine if you want to change the um, the settings and stuff or maybe you want your webcam to be full HD and it's not full HD you can do that under configure video okay so um, I'm going to leave this on device default and press OK and I'm just gonna shrink my face down there we go so now that's there um, one handy tip is I want Bejeweled to always be on the top, so if anything is out here sticking over Bejeweled, Bejeweled will always overlap it. So I'm going to right click and do order and move to top. So now Bejeweled's always on the top, so you'll see if I move my webcam, it goes behind Bejeweled. Okay. And now, uh, Twitch chats are a little bit more confusing, but I will do a separate video in the future if people want to see how to do that. But this area here would basically be for the chat. For that, you would do right click, add, and then you would do browser source. You would call it your chat. And then you would take the body here and you would get a chat, um, a chat sort of service, such as Twitch Alerts. I believe Twitch Alerts has chat. Or if you just search up OBS chat, you'll find um, plugins that are meant for that. For this, I'm just going to check the width here because I want this width to be, I just want it to fit in. Oh, perfect. And there we go. So let's say this was my chat. Um, right now it's just the OBS web page. Here's my camera. Here's my game. Looks like we're all set from what I can see. Although I do want to make sure that I'm using the correct audio sources when I am, uh, when I am playing this so I'm going to go here and we want to make sure that this is not using its own audio because this is my webcam and my webcam has built-in audio what you're seeing is what you're what you're hearing is from my microphone so I'm going to just mute this webcam audio here and then I'm going to add an audio input capture so this is my mic I'm going to choose the microphone I want to use, press OK, and there it is. So now you can see that it's using my mic and the levels are changing. And you can preview this uh, and what it will sound like by actually starting your stream and listening to your own stream and make sure the audio levels are correct. So it looks like we're all set. Um, we've set up a, a basic Twitch stream here. Now I'm going to switch over to my actual stream and show you what it would look like if someone put more time into this work. So if I switch over to my untitled, I should probably title this, but there we go. So this is my away stream. Um, everything you're seeing as that, like the away and the chat and everything and that whole background was all set up in Photoshop, which I'm actually going to show you my basic template on how I did this. Now this might not be very interesting to you. Um, what I'm actually going to do real quick is I'm going to start up CSGO and now when I change to my CSGO scene here the game is actually in full screen so I'll have to open that for a moment so the game's open and now you'll see this is what it will look like when I'm actually playing so I have my webcam over here my uh, it says aux CSGO down at the bottom and I ha it's just a little short link to my YouTube channel now you can set this up however you want now you'll notice I have like the nice lines the nice fade here so that you can see my health and armor um, and the live symbol there and then the frame sort of around my face. I'm going to show you how I set that up. So what I used is I used Photoshop for this. Now if you don't have Photoshop you can either download a free 30 day trial or you can um, download another program such as GIMP. Now GIMP's a little harder to use in my opinion but it's a totally like fine program and I've used it for a number of years so I'm just going to show you my template here for the game. So this here is what I made when I was designing the Twitch template. 
Um, this is made in Photoshop. You'll see the checkered background. That's because I wanted that to be transparent because that's where both my game and my uh, webcam were going to go. I actually, you'll see here, I have a, a layer for a reference image. I got this reference image off the internet. I just looked up CSGO and went to images on Google and it's probably the first thing that popped up. So I got this reference image off the internet and I just pasted this in, put out the bottom layer. And so this way I could actually build my template around what the game would actually look like when I'm playing it. As you can see over here, this whole area, this was all designed based off of, I knew that the money would be here, the chat would be here, and I didn't want my webcam and the live symbol overlapping another part of the stream and another important part of the game. So I chose a place to put it. So that's, I'm just basically saying references image are very helpful. So this is basically the way that I designed my stream and I can actually open up the other. So this is the other one that I used. Um, now if I put on the, the black there, you can see that I have the away box and then the away text. And this area right here is where I set up my Twitch chat, which is a plugin. That's why you don't see the chat here. It's actually a plugin through OBS, which I can show you real quick. <coughs> Basically, if you go to nightdev.com, they have probably one of the best Twitch chats that's totally customizable. You can actually change the CSS here and completely change the entire look and feel of the chat through the CSS. But I basically pasted this in. I chose a width, height, and FPS that I wanted to capture it at. Um, notice I lowered the FPS to 10 because you don't want to waste FPS on something that's not moving very much. And then I basically pressed OK. It loads up here and you'll see that it joined my channel. Okay, so I hope this really helped you guys today and I know I went through everything really fast and I wasn't super specific other than on the settings of OBS, which is one of the most important parts of being a streamer. You wanna have good settings, you want to have it run well, you want the viewers to have a nice smooth experience watching the stream and you also wanna be able to play your game at a good frame rate at the same time. Now while I went in depth in the settings, there still may be more questions. So if you have any questions about any part of the settings or really anything that I discussed in this video, or if you want me to post the PSD file for my CSGO template, just let me know in the comments and I could let you just check out this template, maybe even customize it for your own stream. I really don't care because I'm not a big streamer. Um, but I just thought this would be helpful to a lot of people who are still trying to discover how to become a good Twitch streamer and they have no idea where to start and there's lots of videos, but it could probably take 10 videos, 10 individual videos to actually decide, okay, this is how I set up the OBS settings. This is how I set up a template. This is how I put the template into OBS, all sorts of stuff. But I hope this video helped you guys and please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video and I'd just like to hear your feedback or any questions I would be totally willing to help anyone on here. I'm also leaving a link to my discord channel if you want to ask any questions in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys.